Hey, good morning, and I want you to picture this for a second. A fence in the water here in the Chesapeake Bay separating whites from blacks. On one side, you have uh, the whites only Buckrow Beach. On the other side, you have a portion of sand reserved for the African American population here in Hampton called Bayshore Beach. It's a history the Hampton History Museum is eager to kind of bring back to the forefront with a brand new exhibit they are debuting this weekend. It's called Historic Black Beaches, Bayshore, and Other Memorable Sands. It opens on Saturday. We were able to get inside the still under construction exhibit space for a preview this week. And here, visitors were told are going to be able to see art artifacts and photos from a time when segregation ruled things. So one side of the room is going to be strictly dedicated to Bayshore Beach and Hampton specifically. The other will feature a traveling exhibit from Museum of the Albemarle over there in Elizabeth City. That one will focus on black beaches in Virginia Beach in northeastern North Carolina. Now I talked to the museum curator about this, Alan Hoyleman. He says when African Americans were denied access to public beaches in our area, they often pooled resources and created what really were highly successful and energetic seaside vacation spots, largely in the first half of the 20th century. Hampton's African American history we know dates back 400 years, with Point Comfort being where the first African slaves arrived to the English colonies back in 1619. Hampton is a very complex city. Uh, it has had uh, better luck, more success and in integration than some other cities have had. But those tensions were still there. They were never isolated. We were never isolated from that. And this is a kind of a clear example uh, that uh, there, Hampton was segregated. Now that's at least until the 1960s and the passing of the Civil Rights Act, which largely ended segregation. So the city would go on to buy the area of Bayshore Beach. The beach, I'm told, was gone uh, in the 1970s. But I'm told it did thrive, again, for several decades in the first half of the 20th century. There was a resort here uh, and a popular dance hall that hosted acts like Ella Fitzgerald, of course, from Newport News, and Louis Armstrong. So to kick off the opening of this historic Black Beaches exhibit, there actually is a virtual event that the museum is hosting called uh, Bayshore Experience is on Saturday at six o'clock and it's you know open for everybody to join, check out some photos, hear from historians, people who have information who were here, you know, back in those days. So gonna be very, very interesting. I'm told if you want to check out the exhibit yourself, admission is free this weekend. So big news there. Uh, beyond that, it's gonna be five dollars for entry for most people, but a chance really to get into the history of Hampton and the surrounding area when it comes to all of our beautiful beaches here. Reporting live in Hampton, Anthony Sabella, News 3.